Hey everybody, today we're taking our U substitutions to the next level with back substitution. We're going to work through two problems. Here they are. They're both pretty typical of these uh, back substitution problems. In each case, there's a pretty clear U substitution to try. What's less clear is how exactly it's going to work out. Um, because there's a clear inside function, here, 5 minus x. So let's set that equal to u and just kind of see what happens. Once we've picked our u, we differentiate and solve for dx. dx equals negative du. Then we substitute in. We take out the 5 minus x, replace it with u. Take out the dx, replace it with negative du. So far, so good. The problem now is that we have an integrand that has both x's and u's. And that's a no-no. We can't integrate when we have more than one variable in there. So hopefully we can get that x out somehow. Here, we can do it. And the reason is that that relationship, u equal 5 minus x, that we started with, can be turned around. It can be solved for x. And so when we write x equals 5 minus u, we're actually able to plug that in for that x that remains in our integrand. We get negative the integral 5 minus u times the square root of u, u to the 1 half, du. This we can integrate. We FOIL it out and anti-differentiate by raising up those exponents and multiplying by the reciprocals of the new exponents. Final step, take out the u, replace it with what it's equal to, namely 5 minus x. There's our final answer. As usual, we can check our work by differentiating this, making sure we get the integrand of the original problem back. Problem 2. Again, there's a very clear inside function here. 4 minus x squared. Let's let that be our u. Once we've picked that u, the next couple steps are standard. We differentiate, we solve for dx, and then we plug back into the original integral. Negative 1 half integral x to the fourth u to the fifth du. Great. We need to get that x squared out. Can we use the original substitution u equal 4 minus x squared to do that? The answer is yes, of course. I'm just going to move the x squared over to the other side and then bring the u over, basically solving it for x squared, because x to the fourth is x squared squared. Now I'm going to substitute out that x to the fourth and replace it with 4 minus u, that's x squared, squared. Overall I'm getting negative 1 half, 4 minus u, quantity squared, times u to the fifth. So we can integrate this one. Um, in order to do that, we're going to need to FOIL out the 4 minus u squared. 16 minus 8u plus u squared, and then multiply through the u to the fifth. There's what we get. This we can anti-differentiate. We love anti-differentiating polynomials. In For each one of the terms in that polynomial, we raise up the power by 1, multiply by the reciprocal of the power, take out the u, replace it with, with what it's equal to. Here's what we get. As always, don't forget to add your plus c at the end to indicate that you have found the most general antiderivative, not just one specific antiderivative. 